Willie Junior Fafoy from Solomon Islands has been honored with the Young Recipient Short Story Award at the 2024 First Nation Writers Festival for his story, La Mawa Agil from Kwai Ngongosila. Our last award winner is Willie Junior Fafoy with the short story La Mawa, a girl from Kawi and Ngongosila. And he is from the Solomon Islands. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> the judges praise Fafoy's narrative for his profound conclusion. People will come and go like the waves hitting the shores of the coastline, but our names will live on forever. Strangers will tell our stories and things we do now will become myths and legends. Beginning with myths and legends, Fafoy's tale follows a courageous young woman on a challenging journey. The judges commended its excellent structure and lasting impact, noting its relevance universally. Willie Junior Fafoy shares his insights. Me start writing, but mostly no poetry. Me doing can one for English teacher blow me him. Can give a little bit assignment for writing. So time me doing writing yeah, me get them good mark lo him. So from there, every year me come to awesome secondary school. By the beginning of, begin of the year, me write, me compile a small echo paper together. Then me write him out poems inside. By the end of the year, any friend will me him like him. Me have give him fame. So I've been doing that. And also, me have write him now, a small story. Then me showing him just, I cut up the rough one, number, then give what siblings so read kind of same. But not really go out for publish kind of no more. Yeah, that's for the story, and me write about people from me, eh? me from uh, Malaita province, specifically me from North Malaita, with him uh, East, no, Kwai and Ngongosila, that from me, no, there. So time you look him now, that for uh, opportunity, me think go back to kind of custom story, kind of similar bit. So me take him now, that for uh, story, me set him go back to people from me home. Then me write about now to the island, yeah. yeah. Because uh, inspiration blew me now, also me like for make a story about people blow me and not names of people blow me and known around the world, kind of thing. How me come up with him story, yeah. Inside lot that whole story, yeah, me have a him, him, him fictional story, but of the characters inside me base him now, lot of people of tribe blow me. And also what kind of something was him, uh, marriage, what kind of something was some fish and some of uh, customary fish inside law. I mean, law tribe law me. What things here, have a fictional or some true something about. Now me sit them inside law, that whole story. Excited too much now, time me, me for like sit down to me all watch him now. Time what announce here, name law me then, was some from solo too. It was me first time when me go into writing too, yeah. Uh, most time since high school, me into poetry, writing poem not, for publish just for some of the friends the poem and educational stuff no but time me hear him not that's all I name me or announce him me but uh, me no say explain him no man or said me very proud of being a Solomon Islander then we compete against him other writers outside the country but me manage to uh, get him an award from the judges yeah uh, that's all the story me or say me like put him out go for, for the young people yeah for you got him uh, respect for people blue you, also for your climate and culture blue you. So uh, this whole story him go in three parts here. Yeah. One first part him about that for a girl inside the society where a uh, woman not really that, same people not really that look up a lot of women, but him manage to go out and become someone. And also the middle part of the story, him bring him come to for a different I mean, twelve different people from different islands come together, and lo end part lo story. I'm about time him find him now, the love of our life kind of. So, it's more like um, fitting lo every from young people, cause old people, everyone's away.